Greetings. This is D. Scott Lofthouse of Lofty Enterprises coming to you from Anchorage, Alaska. Last week I talked about the texting apps, Kick Messenger, Uvu, and WhatsApp. This week I want to talk about the microblogging apps and sites, Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, and Vine. Instagram lets users snap, edit, and share photos and 15 second videos either publicly or with a private network of followers. It unites the most popular features of social media sites, sharing, seeing, and commenting on photos. It also lets you apply fun filters and effects to your photos, making them look high quality and artistic. Parents need to know that Instagram is a popular platform for instantly enhancing photos and videos with cool effects and sharing them across a number of social media platforms. The term specified that users should be at least 13 years old and should not post partially nude or sexually suggestive photos, but do not prohibit the portrayal of violence, swear words, or drugs. Users can flag photos for review, but mature content still appears in some photos and in the comment sections. Photos shared in Instagram are public and may have location information unless privacy settings are adjusted. Instagram Direct allows users to send private photos directly to other users. Tinder users can access other Tinder user Instagram feeds directly from within the Tinder app, even on private Instagram feeds if Tinder integration is enabled. Tumblr is like a cross between a blog and Twitter. It's a streaming scrapbook of text, photos, and or videos and audio clips. Users create and follow short blogs or tumble logs that can be seen by anyone online if they are made public. Many teams have tumble logs for personal use such as sharing photos, videos, musing, and things they find funny with their friends. Now, parents need to know that this online hangout is hip and creative, but too raunchy for tykes. Pornographic images and videos, depictions of violent and drugs use, and offensive language are easy to find. Privacy can be guarded, but only through an awkward worker workaround, given that the first profile a member creates is public and viewable by anyone on the internet. Members desiring full privacy must create a second profile, which they can password protect. Now, Twitter is a microblogging site that allows users to post brief 140 character messages called tweets and follow other users' activities. It's not only for adults, teens like using it to share tidbits and keep up with news and celebrities. Parents need to know that Twitter is a free microblogging and social networking site that brings up safety concerns, privacy, and lasting digital footprint. The service allows users to post brief 100 character messages called tweets and follow their friends' activities through the web, instant messaging, or cell phones. Updates to Twitter appear immediately, and while you can remove tweets, your followers can still read what you wrote until it's gone. Anything you upload to the internet, including Twitter updates, can linger in cyberspace for a long time. Users can choose to keep their tweets private and individually approve followers, and this is what we recommend for teen users. Twitter is increasingly being used as a promotional tool for products and celebrities, though users can limit their exposure to ads and promos by keeping their Twitter circle among real friends. Users can choose to post their location along with each tweet, which raises privacy and safety concerns, but users must opt in to this feature. Now, Vine is a social media app that lets users post and watch looping six second video clips. This Twitter owned service has developed a unique community of people who post videos that are often creative, funny, and sometimes thought-provoking. Teens usually use Vine to create and share silly videos of themselves and or their friends and family. I do have a caution for you parents. 
you could be star performers without your knowledge. If your teens film you being goofy or silly, you may want to talk about whether they plan to share it on Vine. Parents need to know that Vine is a social media app that lets you post and watch looping six second video clips. Many of the videos are harmless, but parents need to be aware that Vine is full of content that is inappropriate for children. With the most basic creative searching, kids can find nudity, sex, drug use, offensive language, and more. There are plenty of cute, fun videos, a lot of sophomoric potty humor, and some clever, creative, artistic clips. There's also a direct message option for videos you want to share with just one person or a few people and not with the world. Now this concludes my review of the microblogging apps and sites, a subgroup of the 15 social media apps and sites that teens are migrating to rather than using Facebook. Some of them are teen safe, but many of them are doorways for sexual predators to enter the lives of your children. It is extremely important that you as a parent, know what social media apps and sites your children are using. You don't necessarily need to be a member of those apps and sites, but you need to know their objective, the safety protocols, and what the other users may be putting online. Next week, I'll be reviewing the self-destructing secret apps called BurnNote, Snapchat, Whisper, and Yik Yak. If you'd like to know more about social media and internet safety, or my internet marketing and home business uh, options, you can visit my website at www.loftyenterprises.com or visit my YouTube channel as shown on the last slide. Thank you very much for your time and for your attention, and I hope you have some safe blogging. See you next week.